everybody, I'm NinjaX the Enlightened Gamer. Last time we I left you off, we had just we had conquered the bulk of Rock Tunnel. Today, really quick, I'm gonna go on ahead and skip right back to where we were. Alright everybody. This is where we left off last time. Or technically this is where we left off. But it's one step ahead. There's a series of non-hiker trainers in front of us. Which is good because it's Amanita's turn and Amanita won't do too good against hikers until we get some grass type TMs. <coughs> Don't try anything funny in the dark! Do you even know who I am? Also, it's not dark because Ferrar is being awesome and helping everybody to see. Oh! I didn't get hit by poison powder. That's uh, helpful. I did get hit by rap though. Five raps. <laughs> Good job, Amanita. Level 24! Now it's Knux's turn. Just in time for going to sleep. I'm just gonna go ahead and speed it up until we wake up. That didn't take very long. Ugh. Let's see. Is it just me or does that sprite of Clefairy make it look like Clefairy has a spike on the top of its tail? I know that that's its little wings on its back that don't let it fly and serve no purpose other than to look cute, but it looks like a spike because of the way the pixels line up. Anyway, Canucks, you're awesome. <gasps> what? Whoa. I honestly ne didn't even look that up. I, I didn't even know that that was when Amanita was going to evolve. But it would be a great disservice to not read you Parasect's creepy Pokedex entry. Uh, there it is. <clears throat> a host parasite pair in which the parasite mushroom has taken over the host bug. Prefers damp places. That means that the mushrooms on Paris's back have grown, consumed its body, and taken over its mind. That's kind of creepy. <clears throat> but Parasect is quite useful in this game for a multitude of reasons. Even though Amanitas only just evolved, Definitely not ready to prove itself yet. And we're gonna run from Dio Jude because they're obnoxiously in the way. You have Pokemon? Let's start. Let's start what? Let's start dating. Because if you want to date me, we might want to cast up that left leg because it does not look healthy. Canucks versus Pidgey. Goodbye, Pidgey. Seriously, goodbye, Pidgey. It's only level 19. See how long it took for us to get over leveled? That's one thing that I really like about the original games that I feel like they did better than pretty much any of the other games in the series. Is they did a really good job of scaling your levels. You're normally not over-leveled unless you want to be, and you're almost never under-leveled except for two points in the game where you really do need to train, where I have. Entering Cerulean City and right before the second rival battle. Opposed to Pokemon Gold Silver where you Opponents are relatively low level except for the Elite Four and Red. Which, spoiler alert, that's 
possibly the hardest fight in a Pokemon game just because red is so over leveled. Yay! Good job, K Nuts. You're the best. Did you level up? I took my eye off the game for a little bit. You totally did. This isn't the best Pokemon to switch into pinball against, but you know what? We're asleep. Come on! Thank you for finally stopping. There we go. Pinball, you managed to pull it out. You play hard. That's because I don't play. I win on the best round, and no one's ever going to get me down. Ah, Zubats. We're almost to, out of the cave now. I'm pretty sure there's an item up here in Fire Red Leaf Green, but there isn't one here, apparently. I wonder if I used Flash for no reason. I don't think I've found a single item in this cave. I came this far for Pokemon. Okay. And you did it with a broken leg, so that's pretty impressive. Meowth, Lee. Of course you lead with Meowth. Oh, Knuts is still out first. That's not what I meant. I was supposed to switch him down. Though maybe it's for the better. Wonder if this will take it out. Grass is actually resistant to ground, but because there are so many partially poisoned grass types in the original games, ground type attacks are still pretty good against them. <clears throat> That's okay, Knox gets a little bit of extra treatment because I was dumb and I didn't switch him down. I defeated a broken leg girl, I should carry you to a hospital really quick because you're going to die inside this cave. Oh, Meowth used Payday. Never even noticed. Never even noticed. I believe that was the last trainer of Rock Tunnel. Yeah, there were no items in here, unless there's one right in front of the entrance. What a disappointment. There is a Max Ether in that rock. Now, there are a bunch of trainers just outside this area, but even in Fire Red Leaf Green, it's pretty easy to avoid them all to heal. Lavender Town. Lavender Town in the original games is brilliant. In a game that at least seemingly is very joyful, very cheery, we've seen a lot of cute Pokemon and not a lot of scary ones, Lavender Town is all about death. Death, the spirits, dying, pain, loss, loneliness, a very stark contrast to Vermilion City, where we just were. This little girl's become pretty legendary. 
So we're gonna talk to her. Do you believe in ghosts? No, that's silly. That's nonsense. <laughs> I guess not. That white hand on your shoulder, it's not real. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, what? 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 There's no white hand on my shoulder. I'm good. I'm safe. No problems here. If you say yes, she just says, so there are believers. <clears throat> One of the episodes of Pokemon Origins was dedicated to Lavender Town, and it was good. The Noble Purple Town is its name, but it's all about death and the next world. Pokemon! Pokemon! Even the episodes in the anime about Lavender Town were really creepy and unsettling. I mean, a lot of people don't notice it or don't mention it, but Ash straight up dies in that episode. And it's just, he's too dumb to notice that he's died. It's like, yay, I'm having fun as a ghost with my body down there. I'm dead, but who cares? Fun. Let's beat a couple of trainers and catch a Pokemon. This guy. I'm a rambling, gambling dude in Fire Red Leaf Green. It's I'm a rambling gaming dude. <laughs> what kind of sociopath goes for the rhyme like that by using an obscure, weird word like rambling just to miss it completely? Gambler wants to fight, and he has a Growlithe. Growlithe. Growlithe! And I have a pinball, who is awesome. Seriously. Pinball, you have... Uh, you've been so great to me so far. Level 24. I don't suppose you're going to evolve now. Either way, it's Dart's turn. Well, actually, it's Link's turn because Link missed out on Rock Tunnel. But I don't have him with me yet. So just deal with it, I guess. Sorry. been about 15 minutes. It's going to be about 16 for you guys. Actually, it's going to be about 15 because it took me about a minute to get back where I was in Rock Tunnel. We defeated the rambling gambling dude. Missed the big score. You know, I get that he's supposed to be in like a zoot suit, but to me that always looked like a robe and the dice holder always looked like a coffee mug. We're going to deposit Ferror. We're going to deposit Ferror. We're going to depause Ferror. Goodbye. We'll probably never see you again because you rely on Flash and we don't need that for the rest of the game. Hey, Navi. Hey! I'm gonna go on ahead and switch Link to the front because Lord knows he's underleveled now. Oh, not savagely underleveled, but he is underleveled. So anyway, we're going to go and try to catch a new Pokemon, and then we'll see where the timer's at.
Yeah, happiness, joy, bliss. Also, we needed Link to get into this area to catch the new Pokemon. This is the only patch of grass on this route, and it does have a new Pokemon in it. I'm gonna go on ahead and speed up just the normal game, not the footage, till I can find it. That didn't take any time at all. This route is where you catch the next version exclusive. If you're playing yellow, you can catch both of them, I believe. If you're playing blue, you have Vulpix, and if you're playing red, you have Arcanine. Uh, it's level 17. I think it knows Roar, though, so we could have some trouble. I didn't do any damage at all. Not that I'm complaining. Two Pokeballs. Good job, me. Vulpix was caught. I'm pretty sure in Lavender Town is the first area where we can buy Great Balls. So I might want to go do that now. Vulpix, the fox Pokemon. The six-tail fox that evolves into the nine-tail fox. Believe it. The time of birth, it has just one tail. The tail splits from its tip as it grows older. You want to give a nickname to Vulpix. Nope. What am I doing? Link's at the top. Super creepy, super creepy, super creepy. Hi there, can I help you? Yes, I have a ton of money, so I'm going to buy a ton of great balls. Ten. Fifteen should be able to get me pretty far. And I still have quite a bit of money, which is good because... Even though I don't need it right now, I'm going to need a small fortune at the end of this game. Ah, oh, so spooky of a town, but I love it. It's such a stark contrast to the rest of the game. <clears throat> okay, Link, we're going to see if you stink or not. Hopefully not. What's a cute, round, and fluffy Pokemon? Hop it. Last one's to fight. He's obnoxious. At least it's the same level as Link. Now that its defense is cut, I'm going to go on ahead and deal some hopefully heavy damage. Two times hit because science and magic. There's science and magic, oh no. I don't know. That did a lot more damage than I thought it was going to do. <clears throat> I guess I should learn to take my own advice. Awesome! Swords Dance is the best offensive buff in Gen 1 besides Amnesia. Swords Dance instantly doubles your attack. So it's many times better than Leer. Because boosting your attack opposed to boosting your defense, I mean, as opposed to lowering your opponent's defense, boosting your attack, you maintain that even as they switch out their Pokemon or you knock them out. And like I said, Farfetch is one of the few Pokemon that learns Swords Dance naturally. Yay! I'm gonna go on ahead and do that now. Wee! Come on, 
one, Link. Hang in there. Good job, Link. <sighs> so close. Come on, Link. So close. Poor Link. You almost did it. And I forgot to switch pinball down. That's obnoxious. This is obnoxious. It's a sleep war. It's a snooze fest. It's funny, another inconsistency in the show, opposed to the games, is that if a Pokemon falls asleep in the show, they're considered knocked out. Which, while it makes sense, it's not the case in the games. Thank goodness. Otherwise, Spore and Dark Void, or whatever that move Darkrai learns is, would be the most broken moves ever. Yay! Heal my junk. Heal my team. Heal my awesome team of awesomeness. I'm gonna go on ahead and switch pinball down to the bottom. I love Lavender Town's music. It's so somber and also at the same time so creepy. Very symbolic of death. Game Freak, you did an excellent job with Lavender Town. This guy's gonna be pretty tough for Farfetch'd, I think. You need strategy to win at this. I know. Get off your knees. Get on your feet. I throw my hands up in the air sometime. Saying, hey, yo, gotta let go. And there goes my music. That's kind of a bummer. I'm gonna use two sword stances because I know this guy has a lot of monsters. That's a little annoying. That means I have to rely on cut. But look at that! It survived with no with negative HP. That makes me sad. How dare you survive my onslaught barely? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think that we're going to end it after this fight. I wasn't paying attention to the time again. There's Muck, Grimer's Evolution. Muck's another Pokemon that gets a lot of crap. But I've already talked about Grimer, and basically all the same arguments apply to Mark, to, to Muck. I'm sorry if any of you guys watching are named Mark. Link grew to level 24! Hooray! And just because we're still buffed, I'm gonna go on ahead and use Cut and see if we can finish this guy off. Be defeated, super nerd. It's not logical. Go with Grimer first, and and, and then. Uh, I don't know what logic he thought was in using three Pokemon of the same type and evolutionary line, two of which were unevolved. But, there isn't any.
And Link leveled up twice, so we're gonna switch him down to the bottom. And we're in Lavender Town, which is awesome. <clears throat> Nearly at the midway point of our adventure. I've been Ninjo X, and until next time, stay enlightened.